Hello, I'm Pastor Brenda Young, and I'm excited to be here with you today at Cornerstone. My husband and I, Charlie, we came to Akron in 1978 and began pastoring here together. He was the lead pastor for 18 years and then went on to do ministry in other areas, and I became the lead pastor here until last year for 24 years, and now I am so delighted to be an active part of the church family right now in the here and now. Charlie and I came here back when we were just kids. We had to build a new building. Building. We needed a building for our people and we needed a church that was going to be for a different kind of people who would open their hearts to a different kind of people. We needed God to move from the very beginning. The driver of the dream was the older people in our church. Jason Miller was fabulous and I will never forget the day Charlie and I had been fasting and praying that God would show us for sure that we were on the right direction and that we would have people come alongside to make this happen. Charlie called me one day just crying and he said, babe, you can't imagine what happened. Jason Miller showed up at the church with $10,000 for the building campaign. He was an older guy. He was part of the seniors who said, we need this church. The seniors of the church were always just part of it. And even seniors that were not part of the church. My mom and dad were among those people. Now you got to keep in mind, my brother pastored a church, I pastored a church, and Charlie pastored a church. He pastored Life Hope and everybody had building programs or something something big going on. My mom and dad were committed to all of them, not to brag on them, but to brag on God. Their commitment to him was so great that they gave each one of the churches $10,000. We didn't know how in the world they could do it. We were like, you guys can't do this. What are you going to do? You're already retired. And they said, God has always told us, if you take care of what's important to him, he'll take care of what's important to you. My mom and dad's story was that absolutely through. We had that kind of participation from older people. Guess who's an older person now? <laughs> it's me. In this here and now, I want to do something great. So I'm going to tell you my story. My kids don't even know it. I was here in the room where it happened when we had our here and now kickoff. You have to keep in mind at this point in time, I'm a widow, no longer two incomes, and I have a retirement income, and I wanted to do something great. And I'm a big talker. I talk to myself a lot. So I didn't know if it was God or if it was me. It seemed like it had to be me. But I kept hearing this number, $25,000. How would I ever do $25,000? I don't have $25,000. And then I remembered I didn't know Jason Miller's financial situation when he gave. My mom and dad didn't know their own financial situation when they gave. I remembered that I had been very thriftily saving money uh, to work on my kitchen. I knew that I had $5,000. My kitchen counters are okay. They were good for a long time. They'll be good for a long time yet. And so I said, that's what I'll do. My $5,000 for kitchen and bathroom counters, that's what I'll do. But that's still a long way from $25,000. If I could somehow figure out a way to come up with $500 a month, that that would be $6,000 in a year. And in three years, that would be $18,000 to go with the $5,000. That's still going to leave me $2,000 short of the 25 and that was when I knew for sure that I heard God because I felt his spirit say to me you don't think I can come up with two thousand dollars you've been able to figure out everything else couldn't you let me at least surprise you with two thousand dollars and I knew that was God and so it was my joy to fill out on my commitment card I would give God being my helper twenty five thousand dollars over a period of three years <laughs> I can't even tell you how thrilled I am. God has been so faithful to me. I am so thrilled to be a senior adult who is living out the example that was given to me by the senior adults that God used to build his church here at Cornerstone before this time. God has taught me a really big lesson through these people. This is my goal and my dream. One of the best quotes I've ever read says this, the people who have learned the real meaning of life are the people who are willing to plant trees under whose shade they will never sit. And that's what I'm committed to do. I'm committed to build this church regardless of how long it takes us to build it, regardless of how long I'm here. I want this tree to be big and beautiful, and I want it to provide shade for generations to come after me. I'm so glad to be here right now. He's building his church, and I get to do it too.